and it yeah. is 704. It's exactly what I put on here would happen. <laughs> uh, first, we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. So, join me in saying I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And then a short invocation to say, uh, we ask for guidance in making fair and informed decisions as well as granting health and prosperity to the village of Leonard. Thank you, amen. Amen. Okay. As you know, we all have new members. <laughs> uh, Phyllis and Melissa, Melissa Musgrove and Phyllis Rowe have declined. And we luckily have uh, Deborah McDonald and Paul L. Moranti, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> to take positions on the Planning Commission. So um, I'll do the roll call. you'll do the roll call? I think that's what the, the secretary is supposed to do, right? That's what I've always did yeah, before. Sure. Okay. Paul Amarante. Here. Sherry Arsenault. Debbie McDonald. Here. Lori McKenna. No. Yeah. Leslie McKenna. Leslie McKenna. I'm sorry. Here. Leslie McKenna and Lori Zelenak. Okay. Now we do I'll keep. Well, I'll keep going. So. Okay. Um, I just want to say welcome and thank you guys for service, new service to the Village of Leonard. Um, since we're all kind of new to each other, new, two new members that we didn't know, I'll just go first and give a little history of myself. Um, I'm married, I have a son who went to the Oxford High School, went through the Oxford schools. Uh, we lived here 12 years. Uh, he's now at Michigan State. Uh, I'm a freelance graphic designer. I worked for General Motors for 15 years and for the Kmart Corporation for 15 years. And now I just do uh, freelance. I was Kmart's first webmaster. So um, pretty skilled in computer usage. <laughs> and uh, my family's on the Park and Recs com Committee and I've lived on Frederick Lane for 12 years. So go ahead, Paul, give me a little a little background on yourself. Um, I lived in, uh, I moved into Leonard in 1978 and uh, have been on the council since 1980. And now I'm here on the planning commission. Yay, thank you. And Lori? Um, I'm the newbie to Leonard. I've only been here about three years. I've um, been in the planning commission for to and the Strawberry Festival would be my second year with that and um, just love living here and glad to be here. Very good. And Debbie? I have, Mike and I have lived out there for, since 1978 and uh, we have two sons that both live out of, they've graduated from college and they live out of state, which I hate. <laughs> and um, the oldest one's Trevor and the youngest one is Tanner. And we live, we're the first house uh, east of Roland Hall. So we've always been right in the thick of things, in the middle of everything, the Strawberry Festival. And, and we've been involved in uh, local government since um, about right after we moved here, wasn't it? 19, yeah, 1983. Okay. A long time. So, and I, I, I served on the, um, I was one of the original members of the Planning Commission and I served uh, my heart out uh, for a little over 25 years until, until you took your place. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> took my place and now I have decided that I guess I had enough time off and so I, I'm returning. Okay. We well, appreciate your joining us because we do have a small population that needs all of the help and volunteers we can get. So uh, now I can, I'd like to make a motion to approve the agenda for today. So uh, I can motion. I'll second the motion. Okay. 
and then uh, approve the minutes for January. We, we, all in favor? All in favor? There you go. All in favor? Aye. Thank aye. you. Any no's? No. I say aye too. Okay. Now I, I'd like to get a motion to approve the minutes for January uh, our last meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. And I can second it. Okay. Roll call. Um, we'll roll call. No, all in, we'll all in all favor. In. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. That's Aye. new. Aye. Aye. Okay, no, no declines. No, no. Okay. Thank you. It's good practice. <laughs> uh, moving on to the agenda. Uh, is there any audience business? I thought, oh, no way. That's how it was in our, follow, our, all our agendas. So moving okay. on, we'll go to, uh, we've lost our planning commission chairman. Uh, does anyone have a nomination for a new chairman? I'd like to nominate Leslie McKenna to be our new chairperson on the planning commission. I'll second that motion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> so, and I accept. We're all in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Okay, motion's passed. I guess I'm uh, the new chairman. All the work falls on my big heavy shoulders. <laughs> no, we all. No, it's, it's, it's a team effort, people. <laughs> I'm going to need all the help I can get. <laughs> That's what I really want to say. Okay. Since I'm the secretary, uh, if anyone would like to become secretary, uh, speak now or forever hold your peace. I suppose I can continue on and just take the notes or? Okay. Okay. And then, but it's good to, yeah, okay. So, do, uh, uh, does anyone want to? I can, I can take it because I think it's just too much for you to do both. Okay. So um, it's very easy. I can give you the word okay. documents and you just have to send a copy to Judy and just kind of keep, keep notes. Okay. So yes. I guess I would nominate Lori Zalnak for secretary. I'll second that. Very good. Thank you, Lori. Mm -hmm. And we need to, uh, all in favor. Aye. 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 Um, will that be as of the next meeting or is it July State to the, the next one? Okay. The next one. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I can, all right, good. I'm glad to do tonight. So, I mean, I've no. got it. You got it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Debbie's doing tonight. So. Yep. <laughs> awesome. That's great. Okay. Uh, so, the motion is passed. Uh, now, quick update from the village council um, I, and I'll look to, to you for any comments uh, from what I remember the Elmwood Street uh, project supposed to begin in September potentially August, August? But more likely September okay and uh, there will be some street closures and um, what the the detours are Baza and Gerst, is that right? Um, within the village, yeah, all the roads are going to be open. Okay. Um, for local traffic. Right. So no no resident will have to take a detour per se. Okay. And then the, the uh, east west. The east west bypass will probably be Frick Road to um, Tech. Uh, and then north to Leonard Road to get around the okay. east. Leonard Road is the name of Elmwood outside the village limits. Mm -hmm. It's the township. Right. Yeah, if you if you didn't know it is. Now Mike, is this is this called a resurfacing project? Well a portion of it is resurfacing, okay. a portion of it is reconstruction. Okay. Is so there any drainage oh, okay. going on too? Any sidewalk repair? Yes. 
probably. Mainly downtown by the post office and uh, some bad spots. Okay. From the church? From the church down east? I don't think so. The sidewalks Side down there? The yeah. Um, I don't that, think we have any Oh, you don't? I'm not sure. I haven't talked to you. Well, I just rode my bike. I couldn't ride it on the road or the sidewalk. So. Okay. I don't, then, I don't, I don't, I don't know. No. Uh, the Strawberry Festival also has a, cl a street closing for the Derby, potentially. Well, if, with for the Elwood Street, mm -hmm. with East and West, the West closure will be four or five hours at the right. in the afternoon. And then the only other thing that affects the Planning Commission at all is in terms of structure is I think our own building is, they're looking into putting some new bricks, fixing the bricks out front. So uh, that's still under review for quotes and right. Okay. Um, the uh, last planning commission we had, uh, we are waiting on an update from Rand Bowman on the private road ordinance. Now I think that's been incorporated or not yet. Uh, Rand sent us the uh, changes that he felt needed. I forwarded those to the village attorney because uh, it requires changes not only in the zoning ordinance but also in the police powers ordinance because the village had adopted a, a private road or private streets ordinance. And uh, I sent a reminder today, as a matter of fact, uh, to our attorney that we need to get that taken care of. So it's, it's in the works. And I call it lapse a little bit. So when they get that, that's the only verbiage that's not, not complete in the master plan? No, that would be only in the zoning ordinance itself. The, the other thing is, is in your master plan, if there are references to, there is. to private roads, then those would have to be amended. Right. As well. It is. That's what we're waiting on. Mm -hmm. okay. Now you're you're saying we've been calling it private road. You're calling it private streets. Which well, <laughs> for some reason in the police power ordinances they call streets. it streets. Okay. In the zoning ordinance they refer to them as private roads. So it's okay. Same thing. Just got it. Me. So we're that's the only thing that's holding us up on right. proceeding with our master plan. Yes. And I will. I will. I thought. It had been forwarded to the Planning Commission, but I will see that Rand's comments are distributed to you all. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what was. What is being. Why is the master plan being held up because of. What? Uh, the, the, the state of Michigan has a mandate about no longer having uh, private streets. Oh, no, no, it's, it's still elected. But the village has elected to eliminate them because they are quite problematic when people on the street don't pitch in, donate, right. or contribute to the maintenance well, of the so, so what's holding up the master plan? I mean, to be specific, I don't the, understand the verbiage, why that would hold the, up. The verbiage on how, how we need to change the yeah. section. that's not the master plan, plan is it? It, it, is. It, it, it is. Yeah, there are references in the master plan to the private roads and the future. So that should be reviewed again. Um, but actually, I believe the attorney was asked to look at Ordinance 19, or Rand Bowman was asked to look at Ordinance 19 for revisions to the ordinance um, to eliminate um, the future private roads. Because that's going to be a new ordinance. It will be a revision to the zoning ordinance. And amendment, okay. okay. Is it, so it will be an amendment to the okay. I, and I just we will, and we, the, will also, we will also be amending the police power ordinances which we're trying to convert to a code. Um, it's kind of ill ill timed changes because we there, it's affecting three different uh, parts of the management. Really, so the that's... only thing you need to say is um, uh, the update on 
private road ordinance. We were just waiting on okay. an update from Rand Bowman. Thank that's, you, because I didn't know how to write it down right. because I haven't been here. Anymore. Right, that's all That's all you um, need to say. For update from Rand Bowman, okay. So we can incorporate it into the verbiage of our master plan. So next, uh, we have the site plan discussion for uh, the Leonard Market Party Store. It's called Leonard Market. Uh, I'd like to address Mike McDonald. That's well, I don't want to just jump in. Um, tonight, you'll find new uh, five new plans were given to the village to, uh, today uh, that are supposed to reflect the changes that email after I and the uh, building inspector and the planning chief had a chance to review the original uh, plan. First off, the site plan requirements from Ordinance 90 hadn't been addressed. And quite honestly, I just glanced at it tonight. So um, I'm kind of new to it as well. So I would assume that you can review it tonight. Um, if we have any, if you have any questions or whatever, that, then we would pass those along uh, to the applicant to get answers. Okay. On your initial review of the plans, did he meet all of the requirements that were listed to him? On the initial plan, his initial submission, no. Um, in my glances at this plan, it appears more fully developed. It shows the adjacent zones. Um, it shows the mechanical features on the exterior of the structure. Um, and there may have been a couple of other Um, Mike, did you type this out? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that, those were the, the planning commission members should have received an email that had the list. We do have those, yes. Okay. We're going to review those. So you can, you, we should be able to see. We'll just go one at a time and look at everything. Right. So, starting with. Begin with. Hey, Mike, what come um, in the standards? Where do you know what section that was in? So I, Which one? Site plan? Yeah, site plan uh, review. Sorry. It's in the, near the back. Okay, because I, you know, being away from this, I just don't recall anything. All right. Um, you want to start with. Has he addressed fire suppression, or not suppression, but uh, smoke detectors? Well, the fire chief sent a letter with his recommendations. Um, I guess speaking to that, it is, it is common for the planning commission to take recommendations if they agree with them. And, and, add them as part of the site plan approval uh, conditions. So in other words, the planning commission can say we recommend that the, fire, that the fire code recommendations or words to that effect be included as a condition of permitting for the requested, in this case, the requested expansion for construction. In the same way with the building inspection. You're not going to mandate what he has to do per se. You're going to say it has to meet the building code and that you must pull a construction permit that will meet the approval of the building official. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like he is putting power to it. Uh, fluorescent light. So that that would be, that's an addition, that is an addition from the previous uh, plan. So then that means 
electrical, electrical permit. Well. Not heated. Not heated room, but what has a light switch and uh, so in terms of storing things in there, this is up to him what he puts in there, but if it's not heated. Well, I think the fire chief made some recommendations on storage as well. Mm -hmm. he, he, he specifically indicated that there could be combustibles, but no flammables. In other words, no gasoline, right. no oils, no fireworks, um, things like that. But you put Empty bottle, empty plastic bottles and cans and things like that would be allowed. What about like paper storage? I mean, is that. Paper is combustible, it's not flammable. Mm -hmm. So, paper theoretically, given the guidelines that the chief requested. This is a good interruption, mm -hmm. but what, what are you going by? I, I'm just looking at the plan here. I'm not. I'm looking oh. at the actual shed, and if you turn your page okay. on, on the plan. I, I was on the site plan, and I wasn't, I wasn't looking at it. That's okay. Okay, let me, let me find it. It's just uh, the page be on two, the actual page. shed. So in terms of, to meet the building codes, uh, he has to... Uh, He has to take the recommendations of the fire chief and the building inspector. Well, by rights, yes, that's correct. But when it's included in the site plan review as, as a condition, it, it is legally binding. Okay. So does he spell out a smoke detector here? I believe this letter. So I know the purchase letter, whether he did on the plan, I don't know. It doesn't appear so. So would he be required to follow what the fire chief says? If the well, building inspector... Well, he would if the planning commission makes that. Yeah. I see. Um, I, I have a question regarding the second page here, looking at what he has. He's got a note that he's got the, the shed here that is connected to the building um, and it looks like connected with no doorway. I see nothing that indicates that there's a door, that this is just a wide open space that goes, that flows from the storage area into the current shed. Um, I know that it was asked what the flooring was in the shed currently. And um, I don't see that listed. Does anybody else see it on the new plan here of what the existing, it just says existing flooring. It doesn't say what the existing flooring is. Yes, yeah, certainly a question that you can ask okay. from the applicant. Okay, so are, are we, are you saying that we're going to come up with a list tonight yeah, for him no, of questions? I think that would be appropriate, okay. appropriate at this time to I'm then, just then gonna. The secretary could record them and okay. then. Yeah, I just started. What is okay. existing flooring? What is the existing flooring? And also, what is he currently using it for? Is is it our purview to ask for you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. What, what, what and the only reason, the reason I'm asking. What's, what's he storing in the shed? What, what, what are you asking about the existing use of the old? Existing wall, I'm, and new or the new storage. I'm, I'm asking what's currently there because I'm trying to okay. get an understanding of um, what, how the expansion is going to impact um, business. Um, for example, you know, um, a a restaurant. Um, or I, I'm going to call it a restaurant just because he does such a large amount of food business there. Uh, they don't need to go under a plan review with like, it isn't really the health department, it's actually MDARD. 
And so, you know, my question is, if somehow it would change the way he were to do business, let's say the storage space he's currently using would be now moved out there, would that open space up inside the facility to have more production? Because change if there's more production, then we kind of have to look at what's going on with um, the septic in the, in the well. Um, it, looks, it looks like, pardon, pardon I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Um, on the second page, if you look at the footing of the plan, which is kind of in the middle of the sheet, yeah. it shows okay. these uh, proposed plywood sub floor. But well, you're right, it doesn't say what the existing floor is in the current structure. Right. It also doesn't indicate um, whether it's removing the walls. Can you tell Paul? It look, it look, we know that there's walls from the existing shed, but it looks like he might be removing two of them to create one open area, which looks like he's so. a wall 15 by 4. Yeah, but that doesn't four inches. that doesn't look like a wall to me. It's just lines. That's drawn. This is the this is the building. This is where he enters right here to get into the current shed. That's right there is this. But my question is, it's not a doorway. It's open. Yeah. And that's that. If there's no rat wall, and that's let's just say that when there's no rat wall, and that's just um, yeah, that right that can't be connected with no door. That's not even open. It doesn't. Even I mean, right. he doesn't have a door. I don't know what that is. These do not look like that's not how you draw a wall. It, it, it might indicate that it's two different floor elevations. That's why. Do you think that's what that is? It's like a ramp. It's a is that ramp. what you're saying? It's a ramp. It has to be. Okay, this is a ramp with no door. Is what you're saying? It's so. a, 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 just a different. Elevations, okay. whether it's a step or a ramp. Okay, so if that's elevation. so, then he would have an open. He would have a shed because it, it's open without a door to the inside, and it doesn't correct. have proper it does protection check. against animals. Well, in first of all, yeah. Since it's not listed on the site plan, that's a question. Is that a ramp? What kind of an opening is that? It doesn't. Well, uh, it's. I don't see anything on here. We're putting a door. If it, he says he's going to storage for pop, empty bottles, and pizza boxes. Where, where, did, where do you it's see in the that? middle right here? I see it. Storage for pop, okay. empty bottles, and pizza boxes. So, okay. But that still I, I, doesn't I, preclude animals from getting in well, there. No, it's it's when you have, when you have old, the em, empty bottles, that can call in. All kinds of burn-ups. Right. Correct. Or, well, if they're coming from other people's homes, they can yeah, already you have... You don't want your critters. pizza boxes... No. pizza boxes stored. That I wouldn't be, want that. That would be a health department red flag right there. Well, um, we need to question that, I think. Absolutely. I, okay. I, I notice on the footing plan as well that he's indicating that now he's going to put in uh, concrete piers, basically. Uh, five of them to support the new structure. Where, where do you see them? On the footing plan on the second. Okay, plan. right there. And you'll see in the oh, I see. upper okay. right hand corner, he indicates he's going to put footings in, but that does not close. What do you mean upper right hand corner? No. Of, the, of that footing plan. Okay. Right yeah, it says 12 by 12, 42 inches right. deep concrete which, footing, which five is, required. Which is a good thing. Um, okay. But it does not. If you look at the uh, uh, view to the left, over on the far left, where it shows the wall section, you can also see the gap between the shed and the ground. But now, what are you talking about? Right, right here. Oh, way over here. Oh, okay. 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 okay, thank you. So I think, I think it, it, it's your discretion, but I think if there is concern, and I think it's legitimate about how, uh, san how safe and how free of vermin or whatever. Sanitary and safety issues. Uh, issue questions. Um, so what would I be referring to about the sanitary and the safety issues? And that would be because of 
Well, I think a rat wall, is that where we're going with that? Is that? I don't know anything about a rat. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's a building term. Okay. That I, is what the building inspector said. Yeah, I've never that he thought right that now. they should have that. So. Right. I just, uh, you know, I, I have a little experience with restaurants and opening restaurants and uh, oh, that that, that's definitely something that you have to have like like the whole thing um, just like Doug said you know whatever he chooses to put in there I guess it would be nice it would be the specifics would be good because pizza boxes and people's returnables oh, I don't know what I did at all filled or ants and then they were in it seems there like a mixed use that is yeah. just well yeah Those and then two things shouldn't be together. and this doesn't have a doorway exactly it's a mixed use and then um, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to jump topics. Just well, you know. I, I want to get back to the safety and sanitary issue question because of lack of. Rail. Okay. Because I've never, I've never used that terminology. Before. And I would say um, I'm the perimeter of the, uh, the perimeter of the shell. Correct. The, uh, because if you don't. Stipulate. Well, just just tell me what a rat wall is. It's a concrete, it's a concrete, concrete that, that starts at the building and goes down two feet or more. I see. Right. Two feet, right. So. Eighteen. Right. So vermin couldn't burrow under the floor and so enter they, the building. Exactly. Yeah. And as you can see, that's the reason I bring it up is, is that on his drawing he shows it being on the piers. Yeah. And there is going to be a gap between the structure. Correct. And the and I, saw, I was going to say, I think that there's a picture over here too. Um, there's a picture here that shows what he's done so far. Mm -hmm. How do you know there's a gap? Here's a photo. On the second page. Yeah, right. Yeah. See, okay. here's, here's, yeah, okay. here's the ground, and here's the building. This is the bottom of the building here, yeah. so there's yeah. a gap, mm -hmm. for, a gap. For, right. for anything you can do. Oh, and, okay. that, and this is what's attached to that. So you, where the opening is, is between this little thing here, oops, I'm sorry, it's okay. it, That's and right. that. It's where well, so it's called the wall, the wall right. section. It's, it's, it's just right over there. Yeah. It's called, I just want to make sure I see the wall And he's wall already section. started the building here. He's already started the building? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Without a permit. So, kind of, see here, there's a yeah, gap, so things can live under there. So it looks like a building. It looks like a, I can make a piece of trying to, see here, this is the piece he's adding. Okay. So, apparently it's going to change the roof line, so that this room, okay. actually it looks like it's going to take right. the roof off and put it a new one. Correct. Well, and that, it's just yeah, that old problem. You know, Yes, and then the other. Well, it doesn't match in terms of this is an octagon. No, it doesn't match. Right. So, yeah. Right, right, exactly. Which tells me that that's just an open thing, which just basically is bad. Okay. But you can see how it's going to pair You know, so, filth and things go like um, that. I guess. Is that something we vote on, or we take the right. whole list once we get the list? Oh, we yeah, once you, once, you don't, once you get the list. We just submit Wait, that. Just, do you want to ask a question about the roof, then? Um, tell, tell me the question you'd like to know about the roof. It's not a question. Okay. I can see that's what he is going to okay. do. Okay. So, right. are you are we referring to the current roof or the future roof? If, if depending on time, where are you at? Um, I wasn't really talking about the roof yet. We just kind of got on the side. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, just, I thought maybe I missed something. No, you did not. All right. Uh, I was just showing the gap that's underneath what he's already started. Right. Well, you know, I guess my question is, this looks like just like a Home Depot shed that's been abutted to an extension already from the building. Right. Is this something, because it's being utilized as part of something for the... Um, the market is it something that the, the planning commission um, or the village approved prior? Like, when did the shed show up? And that's a good question. Um, I couldn't find any record in the um, village uh, building uh, files showing an application to install a shed. He may have purchased the so building it, with that. I think it pre existed as ownership, but I don't know that for a fact. I, I am trying to find out. I've, I've been requested for aerial photographs. See if I can. Okay. 
It was there in 2009. It's as far back as you can go. Okay. I know. Cool, cool. Okay, but my question was, perhaps it was there. I, I guess I wasn't clear. So perhaps it was there, and and maybe the um, whoever needed to use it accessed it from one of the outside doors. Upon appearances, looking at it currently, it looks like it has been abutted to the building, but joined to it. Like somebody created a, 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 a doorway or a breezeway. Yes, exactly. That just all of a sudden connected it, and now there's open access between this shed and the building. And that was my question. It'd be one thing if it were. It, 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 it's not attractive, but if it would be one thing if it was just external storage that did not connect with the building, but being that it's open and it appears there's no door, it just, it makes me wonder, you know. Yeah, it does, it does change things. It's kind of like the difference in residential terms of having a freestanding garage or an attached garage. The codes all change because if it's attached to the structure, there are more considerations, fire, Correct. you know, electrical, everything like that. Right. Different, different, um, it should be a ground fault electrical system, for instance, on an outdoor shed. In this, in this case, things like that. Right. Apply. Well, our one comment that begs is uh, to be talked about is he's got an existing shed that was uh, just appeared somehow. We have no record of a permit. Uh, what is the village's building? inspector or whoever what is the authority uh, to retro like i mean at some point we're blessing this that it's it's okay now because he's well that's one of the reasons that i felt that it should come to the planning commission because the purview of the planning commission is to review these things and make sure that they conform and fit in and that's in your zoning ordinance that they should conform and fit in with the general nature of the structures they're, they're with and in the area. So um, appearance and aesthetics are certainly part of the consideration. Yeah, this is really a bad aesthetics wise, and I think we need to address that. Right, that's why he's yeah. created it here. What? He's changing that roof line. Well, so. to me, the existing plot siding on the left hand that should be top. uniform. It well, should go it doesn't, it on the way across. No, it doesn't look right. Okay, he's got the, the new siding and then the existing siding. Right. But that looks a lot shorter. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not as wide. I don't understand. That should be the same dimensions on the front end as in the picture. Right. Well, what I think he's doing, though, is uh, this this addition. I mean, this is the addition. But this does not look like what is there. It's not like existing high point. See what he's doing. So, so the the drawing, according to this, does have an error. Uh, right here, it, it, that says it's the existing high point. Well, that would be the existing high point. Unless he's he's going, going to build a whole new roof. He's going to go straight down yeah. like that. But, but you see what I mean about But this should this? be, right, this should no, be, right. it should be drawn like that. So the, the, the drawing is an error. Yes. Or his intention is to do it that way and have two, and two different appearances. See, I drew on this now. The, the See, it comes down. He says this oh. is the existing high point. Right. So that would be that. Yeah. Okay. So Maybe if that's yeah. coming straight down from there, this would be going straight down like that, but it doesn't. It takes a turn. I see. But see, this width the, is the same as about as that width. It looks like on, in the picture. Right, but it's not but illustrated it's not, it's that not way. It's not right right here because look at that. It's like how, you know, that's... Right, it's not perspective. Right. Did he dimension oh, that right. over here? Oh. I, because there are so many errors or so many questions. It looks like the building is nine feet, seven inches. This is nine, seven? The original. Yes. The original. This extra and piece the would have to, you'd have to do your own math. Would be nine, nine feet, seven inches minus 17 
15 feet to see how wide. He doesn't have yeah. seven, wow. about seven, seven. The exterior, seven. I mean, yeah. the dimension of the correct room. Original building. No addition. 17 yeah. feet for the whole oh, thing. Back, yeah. But it's only got nine feet, seven inches for the old building. That's what I want. Well, so then I, th I think what you want to do is you want to address what you don't see. And that is, is there in the doorway or the connection between the structure? Is there a fire door? He doesn't address the security door. Right. Or is it just yeah. the interior door? And then this door? should be what? like. Is there anything there? Just is there required to be a door there? It's like the to let some of the heat kind of go in there. there. Well, yeah. 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 Or is it doesn't he because he creates food here? Doesn't he get health inspections? Well, according to the best information that we've been able to find out, and a lot of it I attribute to Lori's diligence. Um, not recently. Uh, health inspection from oh, um, I did speak to the MDARD inspector. Um, she did say she was out in the winter time. I did mention the sheds, and she went, sheds? What sheds? I didn't notice any sheds. And I said, well, there's there's sheds where, I mean, it'd be kind of surprising. Then she goes, oh, I think Sam did accommodate me when I asked him to move some of the returnables out of um, an area they were in the building to, to maybe, maybe he's got returnables or something out there. But still, um, she kind of acted like she didn't know. Okay. So, um, you know, how what, what she looked at, you know, we can we can FOIA that information mm -hmm. um, because unfortunately you can't get um, restaurant inspections or whatever you want to call them because it's Department of Agriculture. You can't get them online anymore. You used to be able to up until I think 2014 mm -hmm. or something like that. So. Um, you know, it would just be a matter of just, you know, what, what as far as her observations go, there's a lot of things she didn't notice. Mm -hmm. Well, if, if it's our intention of telling him to put a door there, or is it okay to leave it open? Well, I think that's a legitimate question that you should ask. In other words, is a door planned, not planned, and if it is planned, what type of door? Okay. And that might that might go to the, the fire code, or it could go to the building code. Okay. But th that would be the building department or the fire departments. We would get a response. Okay. So we want to know the elevation between the two buildings, and we want to know uh, if there's a door planned there, and we'd like to see a door there, maybe. Oh, that's up to you, folks. I I have one comment. I don't like the looks of. Uh, Aesthetically, from the, from the road, if this is going to be part yeah. of this building, I do not like the look of the old shed no. and the new park. And I think that we have a somewhat well, of a control least, over that. Yeah. 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 At, at least yeah. he should have all the same exterior the same. exterior treatment and complementary color to the same side of the building. And, and just for point of reference. That is not a very, you could be far more controlling or restrictive because by rights it's a, it's a brick building and normally facades and all of that are required to maintain the same character. Yes. So if you're allowing him to at least make the shed look like one, not a patchwork, but as a, a single entity by having it clad in the same side of it, and that's very generous, actually. Well, as long as it, if it's continuous across the back there, all the same color See, and the same treatment. This is all brick now. See, this no, is that's not brick there. It's not? No, it's wood. That's all. Mm -hmm. It's all wood, wood on the that. side. See, I never look at the, the right. side it's, of it. It's, this is T111 type siding okay. all the way. And if you painted it the same color and blended it with the fence, so, 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 what, that you so the color that. would be whatever the fence, the color of the fence is, it may, and the building. The oh. fence should match the, the color of the building should match the fence, should match the shed, so that it all blends in together. Is there a door on the front of this, or is that just not, not a door? Can't tell from uh, the uh, photo. Um, did he give us permission to walk the side? You have a, you have a right to ask. 
I'll say I'm with the Planning Commission. I'd like to look at, at you know, what you're applying for. I, I'd like, I usually, before I make a decision on anything, the way it used to be, I would um, go and walk the site, just the outside, and look at the pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took these pictures, so. Oh, thank, thank you for that. <laughs> I wouldn't know what, I would have seen it on the site plan. His uh, top of the building should be matching too. That's beige and then stripped wall here. He's not finished with his construction. Yeah, we're we're. I'm not sure how far we can go. I know, I know. You but at least we can to make the shed. Yeah, that's you, can, you, can, you certainly have a right to mention it. Mm -hmm. If he's, you know, if he cares, I'm sure he'd be interested. Right. In so uh, it won't be much trouble for him to go the extra the extra seven feet of one two more sheets of T111 mm -hmm. to make it match. Well, it, it should be front and back. And it is. The, the okay, back side I didn't know. He's pretty well, that's right, because it goes around. Yeah, he's okay. pretty much enclosing it on the uh, it looks like it. other two sides that are exposed. Mm -hmm. so. um, another question, this is, goes back on. Does he have does he have a dipsy dumpster down there? Mm -hmm. Or is it showing the plan? You know, it's a, I'd like to know where the dumpsters are and if they're going to change because it's not an ordinance. They should be enclosed. There's no, that's, that's, that's for remodeling, I think. Oh, on that same note, I just wanted to say no, because actually if He's, you look well, I don't know because this oh. picture was taken two weeks ago. Okay. There's the but, This is where the dumpster um, is. Okay, so. Okay, because oh, I would yeah, like dumpster. to see that. I would Behind like to fence. see that all Behind the fence. Right. He's got it out yeah. in front all now. With the, with, the, with the door in front, two doors. So the, right. the, it, if he puts it back in that area, how will the truck get, get it dumped? Well, no, he doesn't have to move it. Well, he, he shows. To close it. Where's he show it? Uh, back of page. Another so which one is for here. this is for construction? He shows it right here. Then these are his oh, other two dumpsters, but there needs to be space for the rest of the dumpsters. Uh, and the final is just wood, six foot wood, wood fence right there. Okay. All right, Somewhere. so he's compliant there. It has, it has it to, to be on a cement pad. Right now, it's they not in there. And, and I don't see how it would be. I don't know how the health department is even letting that fly. There, because there's no way a truck's going to get in there. That's a well, I don't mean to move the dumpster. I want it enclosed. Yeah, well, he, show, he well, shows it enclosed here. So, so, so you may want to indicate that the dumpster should be in an enclosed and accessible from the uh, okay, coach from the street. Right. What are you? Okay. Um, I, what I'm, oh, I'm pretty sure it's the law that dumpsters have to be on a cement pad. Um, so you can hose off the the crud and. He also has a grease trap or a grease thing right. there. Those two, probably next to each other, screened in, but they should be on a cement pad. They shouldn't See, just be sitting in a dirt pile like that. We don't that. know. We don't, we're not familiar with that type of thing. Yeah. You know, that would probably be the health department. And I think maybe the health department needs to come out and take another look. I, I, they were well, out in the winter. Well, the, you can certainly raise, raise the question. Okay. In your, in your review notes. Okay, right. Mike. Where, where so the, the, the note um, would say. Right here's, this. here's Elmwood Street. Okay. Here's the dumpster. And here's That's a the dumpster fence right here. Okay. See, so you can't get to it, so he's not. A, he won't be put there. Here. Well, no, it used to be back behind saying, the house. Well, it hasn't been there in quite some time. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's out in the lot now, basically. Mike. Well, this it needs to be enclosed. Right. He's saying he's saying he is putting a fence I, there. Be we might yeah, it's it's well, how, how do you know? it's uh the fence is there. He just doesn't have the dumpster up. there you know because I mean? of the construction materials. So, exactly. well, okay, the fence is we're, back on the we're looking the at it. Floor. We're standing here looking in. Yeah. So, what is this right here? Uh, my car. <gasps> <laughs> it's okay. the window. <laughs> I'm okay. taking I, a picture out the window. I'm not 
Getting so if, if he needs to move his fence forward to get his dumpster closer so it, the car can it needs, get the it. The dumpster needs to be on all four sides of the Right, well closed. he intends to okay. put it in there and it is enclosed. Oh, okay. in, in there is where he wants to put it. That's not the end of his property. No. His property goes back further. Okay, I didn't know. So he's, he's he's intending to put it in and there. He's going to put a, a door right there on the fence. He'd have to put a door there for the... There might be a gate there. It's okay. open right now. So do we want to make sure that happens? Well, he says he's going to do it. But That's all we can do. We, we need to you know, there's more we can do because it's an ordinance. That right, but it, he's got it in here dispelled out. So he's meeting the requirements. Yeah, you're right. So, you know, if he needs to revise that so that he can get the trucks there. Yeah, dumpster behind fence. But I don't see a fence on the other side. Because there's a house up here. You know, there's, it's single family there, residential. It's right, it's right here. See, this okay, is the I'm one just, side. Yeah, I know. Fence, and then there's fence here. I know, but on the other side. Of it's back there. That's fence too. Oh, by that tree. So there's this is a double fence. Yeah, there's an okay. enclosed so area, and this is the fence for the house. So you can actually go out? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's where I'm just not getting. And the, I, I don't see the, here. See the. I just see that I see a chain, a six foot chain link fence, and I don't see. This is wood. See right here, wood. Okay. Fence. So yeah. it starts there, and then he hasn't drawn in the fence that's there. Okay. It is there. Yes, I know. See in my ordinance book here. That so, and then this is the fence. He's um, they talk six about foot wood fence with uh, gate. Ornamental screening wall or fence shall be provided. Six foot okay. wood fence with gate. Okay, okay. So yeah. he's he's trying. <laughs> Shed of landscape equipment. Okay. Thank you. In there. So I guess the back on track. Did you find something worth? Oh, you know, I was just showing, because I was sharing my ordinance book with Pat, be, you know, I don't know if he had one, I was just saying that I see that he's accommodating for what we've asked. Right. And that it's, you know, I just wanted to state that it says a style, it's um, section 4.20. A solid ornamental screening wall or fence shall be provided for around all sides of dumpsters, which shall be provided with a gate for access and to be of such a height as to completely screen the containers, but not higher than six feet, basically, is what it's saying. All dumpsters have to have a lid, obviously. Um, but then it kind of goes on to talk about, you know, rubbish containers. Um, the screening wall or fence that's surrounding the ground area shall be maintained in a neat and orderly appearance, free from rubbish, waste paper, or other debris. The maintenance is a responsibility of the owner. Um, and then it just talks about you know, overall tidiness around the building. That you know, like around the grounds and around the building, you shouldn't have just like containers and crates and stuff just kind of piled up around there. That it's you know, like aesthetics. Just the aesthetics of it. I think when when you pull up to the building, he, it is is beautifully done. Mm -hmm. it, it really. I mean, I'm so happy that he did the work that he did on the side and the front. Right. It looks so much better than it used to be, but he's cleaned up the back too. The other side and the back are, are kind of an afterthought. I think that if you know if he's doing the work, just to take. I mean, if we, I'd love to ask for a little bit more. I'm not saying that you know it hinges on it, right. but I'm just saying that you know for me. Let's make it the best part of story. I'd, like I'd like to ask for a little bit more. He's if he's going to do it, I would prefer to see the same matching brick mm -hmm. be on part of it. With just a regular gate, you could open. You know what I'm saying? But if he was going to pour a cement pad to put the, the dumpster on and the grease trap, you know, wouldn't it be nice to see the brick that's on the side of the building kind of continued around and just give it more of a cohesive look? Mm -hmm. I think sometimes it's just the look of that that fence. And eh, you know, yeah, it covers up the trash can. We all know it's trash back there, right. but you know. Uh, Mike, when you went down, you went through the site and you wrote what wasn't on here. This is the old site, correct? So, should we go down all this to see what's on the Okay, I didn't know. Okay, so. Uh, Do we have two questions so far? No. Oh. I've got. Uh, well, we've got the 
the trash can, uh, the, the elevation between the two buildings, the door. I, I've got uh, the, the flooring, the flooring in the shed. The walls being uh, six inches and nine inches tall. Okay. Oh, the rat wall, yeah. I'm calling that enclosing for health and safety and animal reasons. And then the recommendations of the building inspector, which cover that, right. and the fire department. Which Correct. And I guess if it's, op if it's open, it needs a smoke detector, but it may need a smoke detector because it's connected, because it's a residential upstairs. So if he's got power in there, it's not that much more to put the smoke detector. So you, right. we're smoke not detector. seeing anywhere that that's provided for a smoke detector. No. You said that right in the beginning. Right. Okay. okay, we've got the smoke detector, the flooring in the shed. What is that composed of? The old versus the new? Um, and the only reason what? we can address that is because he didn't have a permit or we don't have a record of what that floor is. So we can address that and now because we're trying to bless his shed. What um, is becoming um, compliant? What is currently, uh, what is it currently being used for? And the existing building used for uh, the pop cans versus the pizza boxes. Um, Are they new pizza boxes now. or, well, they're obviously not old pizza boxes because no. the old pizza boxes are like my The discrepancy between the south width of the old versus the new building. Okay. The, the discrepancy uh, between. Oh, they, the way the drawing the, doesn't look. Yeah. yeah. And um, uh, what, or is, is it a door or, you know, what kind of. Is, is the it a door or is it open type of treatment there? And the exterior well, treatment say, of the. It, it, the is it a door? Provision for the rat wall on that also. Yes, yeah, she's got some. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, the sanitary issues. I oh, kind of written down. Okay. Great. I, I have, I guess, questioning the door is one thing, but are we, shouldn't we be just plain requiring them to have the door there? Well, no. Is it an open door or is there a door that's closed? I'd like to know what is there. Okay. Um, if anything, so it's well, then it's a matter of the building official determining whether or not the door is adequate. Okay. What what bothered me is the door is not there's no um, footage given here, and it, it, there's nothing that indicates that that's a ring. Well, which we did this is that the elevation question. Yeah, it's elevation. It, it is definitely an elevation change, or there'd be no line on the floor. So it's part of the It's a step up or a step, step down. Or okay. Or right. Or it's either a step up, step up or a step down. Okay. It's an elevation change. If, um, if MDARD were to go in and do an, an inspection, um, they, they aren't very interested in doing it, um, they would make like site plan requirements that, in a way, would kind of supersede what we do because right. they, would ask, they would ask for more because mm -hmm. of health safety and sanitation mm -hmm. but because they feel that the expansion of the building does not affect or increase the business that he'll be doing or the way that anything is prepared mm -hmm. they have declined to do a site plan review because mm -hmm. normally these are things that they would be touching on they would be talking about those things where i think that we could probably concentrate on other things like the aesthetics, but because they declined and they said, you know, it's fine with them, whatever they want, we want to do is fine, I guess then it, the ball is kind of back in our court. Okay. It's kind of what I feel like that, now I feel like I kind of have to dig through the minutia. It would have been great if they could have done it for us. Mm -hmm. So that's where kind of we're at with that. Um, okay. Yep. Sure. Oh I got that here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're already doing it, but I We kind of are, are, but... Uh, okay. Let's see if we've addressed them all. Well, for one thing, the adjacent land uses and zoning not identified on plan. Uh, he, it, they are not. Well, no, they're not. They're still not. The existing house is a residential home, but that property is zoned. Yeah, but it's like it's zoned not use. No, it says zoning not identified. That, it's only is identified as commercial. Uh, the house. So on the lot. But, but I know, but. It doesn't matter. You're talking about use 
No, no, I'm not talking about the use. I'm talking about the zoning because uh, there are some people that would not know that, okay, the lot that the store is on is commercial. They wouldn't realize that the lot where the house is is also, that's all commercial. I don't think oh, it's all commercial. Oh, I thought that it is. Was it is. Yeah. Because the Planning Commission recommended it and oh, the Village okay. Council voted on it, yeah. That was part of his one-two punch when yeah. after he bought the place, Paul, was to request the rezoning and then When, okay. when, when something like that happens, and um, if I'm understanding the timeline correctly, he purchased it and said, hey, I want to you know, make some changes. Um, I'd like the whole thing zoned commercial. Um, I think that house is like a rental house in the back, and this is still being used as a commercial. So even though it's zoned commercial, it, its use is residential, correct? Right. Now, I don't know how that works like legally, but it seems to me that if he is not elected to use that property for a commercial use, to me, the use is residential. You know, and I think just like a lot of sometimes the way the little deep, the devils in the details, the, the prior council approved it, but. Not everybody. I, if, we, if we can't go back and change something because it is what it is, are, can we enforce some aesthetics to at least um, make it look like it's a residential property abutting a commercial property. And, and where I'm going with this, um, everybody, is I was looking under section 6.05 where it talks about parking lot and landscape screening. So the bottom of page well, 6 11 here. Uh -oh, what no, that's not, no. I have to you know when you guys have found this it. Point, what did you say? 6.05, and it's in actually, like at the bottom of the page, 6-11, but 6.05 at the bottom, it says parking lot, landscape, and screen. And I don't know if your book's older than mine or the same thing. Okay, what, um, what, what number is that? What number on the chart? It's not the same page. We're not on the right page here. It's not right. What happened? Oh, 611 is the page number. Well, this is yours. I know it's Oh, it's from upstairs. Okay. Oh, no. It's from my house. Oh. If you look at the site plan section, this is um, over here, look. <laughs> it also indicates on there, um, in the site plan section, that uh, it's. Uh, number 14 on page 25-6. Yeah, you know, like a green belt. Well, I'm not on the same. He's got a divider there. The guy's, the guy's just trying to make his store uh, run more efficiently, oh, the best he can. Belt, you know, I don't know that we can tell him to build a oh, wall, wall there. The other. Is there a fence on the other? I'm talking about going that way, going west. Yeah. Oh, there is a fence there? Yes. Yeah. Oh, between the, the store. Oh, I guess I did. I didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe the fence predated the kind of the rezoning, so there was a fence there that separated the two lots. Then when they were rezoned, and he had both parcels, oh. he had both parcels combined. Mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. So that fence is still there. Okay. And I think we all take your point that there's a, at least in this community, there's kind of a because he owns the house, why should he put a fence on his own property? To protect his own side, yeah. You know I mean? Oh, I totally so, get it. I was so, thinking it was it was more just on the idea of aesthetics well, that I just sometimes when I, I look agree. out over there and I see that little sitting area where he has the benches. But and somebody, then there's like, like there's a dumpster and it just looks. It's somebody just else might come along and buy it someday, and we want things to be right for that next owner. I mean, our decisions don't go with the owner or the person. It goes with the land and the zoning, and you know, in the future. Right. That's a good point. Right. Right. No, that was just, I, you know, that was my bad on that. I just didn't I realize that that was mean, even there. I don't mean to sound like I'm going there. Yeah. I'm just. Okay. 
That's good. You can use that for your notes. Yes. What is, if this was a huge makeover like what he did as original plan, um, I wish I had employed a little more oversight on the village's part on that, but it is what it is. Okay. So now we address what he'd like to do okay. here in ancillary things. And because he's expanding it, the lot coverage of the parcel, um, the maximum in commercial is 30%. He's, he, he's even even though I don't think the math is quite right that the architect did, it's still under thirty percent. So he's compliant so there. Okay. Esen essentially, that's not a reason to, for worry for us. Gotcha. What is a concern are the aesthetics. Um, what can we do to improve it or to make it fit the overall scheme of the property? Um, and I think. Between the fencing and the siding on the shed, the roof line, those are all appropriate gotcha. um, mm -hmm. things that we can address. The dumpster, I think, is worthy of note as to asking him how does he expect a truck to get in and get the dumpster in the current look in his proposed location. Mm -hmm. And I suspect that it would be better served. If he would put it maybe where it is, but just fence it. Mm -hmm. If you if you take catch my drift, you know, it's, instead of having that landscaped corner to the south of it on the on the drawing, just have a gate there. Is that so um, the truck can drive up, pick it up, dump it? And do they actually dump that dumpster, or is that a switchable dumpster? They dump. The, they dump that one because. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Currently, the way he has it drawn in the drawing, there's no way that can be dumped. Not by a big truck, I agree. So I think that's a valid point. And, and then he can decide how he'd like to address it. Why? Because it's, it's a, the, the truck, landscape. yeah, the landscaped okay. area. He, you can't get through no, that to, to dump the dump. I think he was thinking the truck would just back over that. He doesn't really say where the gates are going to be either. I don't see it so on there. There's here. a line. It's drawn. It says six foot wood fence with gate, and it's drawn no, to. No, the gate's right. not on here, and it should be. Right. It doesn't go across okay. that okay. drive unless he's making it go like an electric gate, which well, I we can't, can't imagine. Anything. No, we, we can't. Appreciate. It doesn't show the gate going yeah, across. Goodness. So. Uh, we're talking still about, I mean, in terms of paint color. Do we get that? Do we get that far? Yes, I've. I've you, you can uh, suggest it. Matching, but, matching what's currently there. Right. Um, what is so? He's got another shed on the property too. Yeah, there's a couple. Yeah. The. Oh. You can't tell a person. What color, what color they, 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 they have to paint something. No, but, but it should you, match. You, yeah. you can require that the materials match at least. And right, the materials match and yeah. the color matches the existing right. side, yeah. west side of the building. There's a provision for that in here that I read that yes, it needs to it be aesthetic. uniformly colored, right. is what it says. Right, that's uniformly yes. colored. Okay, okay. Now what, what section is that under? Do we have point zero five? You don't have to quote them. I don't have to if write that it, down. If you know it, write it down. Okay, so what yeah. was that? It was section six point zero. No, just tell me. Just tell me the page. Oh man. Yeah, because I, I go by the page. Okay, it's it's six dash eleven. The one we were on before. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a new book. And then okay. And, and then what? Tell me again what it was. Section number. Yeah, the section number. Yeah, six point zero five on page six point zero five on six dash eleven, and then it yeah. was was it part B? Um, part B, where it just talks about, you know, uniformly colored. And so that's part B. Yes. Okay. I got it. Okay, so going down the list. Okay. The adjacent land uses and zoning are now identified on the plan? Well, yes. So uh, the width of the adjacent street, alley, and driveway. I. Tell me if the alley's on here. Alley is 12 feet wide. 
Where do you yeah, see that? Yeah. That's his back. No, I'm looking okay. at that. Where? 12 feet. 12 feet. Oh, I, cause it's I like the side alley. We call it an alley, but. 24. Okay. Now this. So he's, he's spelled that out there. Okay. The dimension of the sidewalk is noted in the front. Uh, he's got the driveway on there too, 20 foot driveway on West Elmwood, right down there in that. And five feet on the side, so those are spelled out. Okay. Um, off street parking areas not identified. Yeah, parking for spaces. Oh, you mean the parking that's, yeah, that's in right the, in here? Yeah. So that's yeah. now identified. Oh, okay. <laughs> four parking spaces. Okay. Wait a minute. You're seeing four parking spaces? Yeah, yeah. it's right in the middle of the Where diagram and the top. Oh, I'm sorry. Off screen. Oh, that's not right. Right. I was yes. here. An, oh, an existing. Okay. Okay. Four spaces. Uh, in handicap. Front. He's got the first one handicap and then <clears throat> shows a ramp. Yay. <laughs> okay. Is that already there? The, the, no. the angle's not there? Will that be yeah. taken care of with? No, he, no it is, is already there. Is there. Is a, there is, I believe there is a ramp there. Okay. Because uh, when they do the Elmwood Street, this is what they'll follow, or? We're, we're not doing the west side. Oh, we're just doing yeah, the east. Yeah. Well, you told me that we're, they were? We're going, we're going to Whitehead Street. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So, so anything? Yes, it's going to be repaved. It'll be compliant because what we do then will right. will make that compliant. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I have a question. If he's if he's working on renovations now to his store, and I notice something that seems could be problematic for him in the future to have to rearrange his what he's got going over here, you know, with um, parking spaces and everything, um, in front of his store. He doesn't have a width of the sidewalk that I can see how wide the sidewalk is. Um, I have a length of eight foot one inch here. Um, I see sidewalk it. in front. Yeah, this. What is the width of the sidewalk? And the reason I ask is but because that's the village. Five feet. Is a five foot wide sidewalk here? Okay. I'm curious what it is in front of the store, and the reason I ask is because the parking spaces, the cars actually hang out into the street, and so when the uh, when the road is redone, I, whoever does the road is probably going to have issue with you know the lines for the parking spaces overlapping out into the lines of the road. So my question is, is that something that am, am I? We're we're required as part of the road project. We're re, we are required to do a parking study. Okay. Which will address. Okay then. Those those items. Okay then I was. And we will be required. Um, I am not to have any of that parking, which is why it was suggested to you to cover that right. as well. I was thinking of saving him trouble because my thought was that this probably won't fly and these are going to end up being parallel parking spaces mm -hmm. because it's going to be illegal for these cars to hang over into the road. Yeah, MDOT is really looking at our plans. Okay. Because All right. we are proposing to keep them angle parking. Okay. But they are saying that there's going to have to be some changes, so we're waiting to see what they say. Right, right. Is he, is he aware of that? Or no? Oh, uh, no. no. Okay. So at this point, there's... Because he could... I don't want to... I, I, it's, until it's time, until the sky is... I mean, I don't want to wait until the sky is falling, but I don't have anything that suggests now that... that there's a problem. Make us yeah. Parallel, so. Okay. And it does involve, we are shifting the road slightly in order to keep the center line away, you know, to give enough lane room to get minimum overlap with the parking. So we'll see if, if it buys it. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. got to be mindful of the uh, business owner on the other side. Just because he doesn't have his parking there doing that doesn't mean he should lose any of his property. Well, it, it all has to be in the road right away. Right. Within this, yeah. Off the top of your head, 
Did you look to see how many handicap spaces need to be there according to the, where is that listed in here? I'm looking uh, under, I, I, don't, um, I was just wondering. But if, there's one, 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 definitely one over there because that's the minimum. If you come over to this side, I think we're still at the moment. I don't think there's okay. a okay. parking space is justified too. So okay, I was just wondering. Not being real familiar with the zoning book anymore. I hey, do is he, is he required to um, notify us the number of employees and residents? I don't know. I don't either. That's a good question. It, it would seem like a logical request. I don't know if he captured it, but do you want to ask that? Yeah, well, the, the only reason to ask that I would for parking. Would be for Parking and Obviously, the employees are parking in those four spots that are off. Right. And then well, I, I drove by there early on a Sunday morning when I took a couple of pictures, and there were, I think, two cars in the parking lot. It was probably 7 a.m. before the store was open, so I don't know if he has two residents upstairs right. or, or more, but I think that would be the, the point that they were looking for is, is you know, of these parking spaces that he right. has, and then if you've got two for residents and then you've got, you know, one for, for the employees. owner or one for other employees or one for a delivery guy, where, where how much space do you have allocated for? Um, well, it's, it's tricky because, you know, the villa, this was a stagecoach stop, you know, when it was first built. So hotel. the hotel served, the, and then the trains came through. So, um, it's public. Most all up from the front of his store to nearly the edge of the building across the street is all village right of way. Okay. So, so we're actually responsible for the parking and the maintenance of those areas. They don't the, the stores mm -hmm. here don't have to push snow anywhere but on their sidewalks. <laughs> so um, okay. So yeah, it's not like they have any control over it. Okay. The village, the village does. So we maintain that. So the shed that he has for for landscape equipment, yeah. what would that entail then? Like weed whip. What do you mean? Shovel. Oh well, he's got a, he has a second shed. I don't know when that second shed was added. That's that metal one that's behind. Right. The one I caught. But I see that he's made a provision for that by the dumpster, and it says shed old landscape furniture. equipment. Right there. One shed has old furniture in it, one has one landscape has old furniture equipment. and one has landscape equipment here. What kind of furniture? Old furniture? Old furniture? I'm sure he's, it's probably where he stores the stuff that he puts out. Eight by eight. Where's the, eight the okay, I see the eight by eight, but that's landscape. Where's the old? Old furniture. The furniture. The, the thing about what kind of furniture? Um, it's not a furniture. Maybe old old furniture. No, maybe the, um, the oh, I see. The thing okay. about there. commercial zoning. Oh, is, so, oh. is that unlike residential zoning, they don't, the commercial and industrial don't have a right to add structures on their property unless it's approved by the planning commission. Okay. And so technically, any sheds that went up there should have been reviewed. And they weren't right before they were put up. If if you have a compelling reason to tell him to get rid of a shed, you, theoretically, we could enforce it. But again, he when he combined those two lots, he increased the lot area so much that that he can get away with it under the thirty percent. But if certainly if that was a, if the lots hadn't been split, if he had less than half of the lot area he has that he couldn't couldn't even have the sheds because he had no, so if, much. No, if the lots were split. split. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, if they weren't together. Yeah. So. I'm not sure that's... Okay, I, I was asking just because I see there's a provision with the expansion of keeping both sheds. So... Right. He wants so to... So if you, if, you, if you approve the site plan showing those sheds, then... You have, we've already... Then, then we've then approved... Then you have been permission. They've been approved? You would... We you have have one oh, if we do approve them. Yeah. Okay, because I'm just... Okay. It seals it right there. We don't have to ask for a prior site or, plan for those or you sheds. Or you can ask them to move them if it's, a, if it's an aesthetic thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go down there. That's. I gotta ask. That's you. against us. Your call. No, I just was. 
I was just bringing into question the, the space that's back here. It just doesn't seem accurate, I guess. When I look at where he's got broken asphalt pavement, I guess that's where the cars are parked. Then he's got, quote, landscape area. To me, it doesn't look right either. And then the shed with the old furniture, it seems like he's accounting for more space than's actually there. And I guess I that was my question. Is, like, are the measurements correct? Because they look, on paper, it looks like it all fits really nice and tidy. But when you look at it, like, um, in the pictures, it doesn't look so much, and so I was just curious if those measurements were correct. Right. I think they probably are. Well, you know, we can verify that uh, How? and measure it. Well, you can go down and physically measure it. Yeah. Lay a Google shot with the. Uh, this is what you're talking about. Right, 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 exactly. That's so what it's, a car, it's, it's two car widths here. If you took this car and used it as a measurement, it's two car widths. You mean one here, one here? Well, you mean no, the second the, the, shed? Between the shed, here, between the shed and the wall, you could fit that car in there twice. You see what I'm saying? The distance here and there. You, you're saying this is, this is wide enough for two cars side by yes, side there? Yes, if that was parked way, way closer. I can't see that. Like even looking up here. So that's when you're on an angle, it, cl it right. encloses the space. So okay. I tried to get closer to straight in. Um, you could you could fit two cars yeah, in there I side by side. Okay. But uh, so that distance, when you take it, when you compare it here, mm -hmm. he shows this is that this piece right here is this piece here, mm -hmm. and then there's the drive, mm -hmm. which is this. Mm -hmm. And then as wide as the drive is, there's more area, which is true because it goes all the way to here. Mm -hmm. So because all this scrub is growing up, you don't oh. think of this property as being okay. way over I here. I didn't, I, that's the landscaping area. Okay. okay. There's another shed on here. That's, that's, oh, that's not a shed. That's a that's, generator. That's a generator. Oh. It's enclosed. And he did a nice job of enclosing it. It used to be really okay. rattier I, than that. Be nice yeah. if this was all uniform with this color too but you know it's five minutes of painting on a post right <laughs> but he's doing he's doing his best so you know he's getting there mm -hmm. every time you go by you go oh i'm so glad you painted that right because you know? no. i do have to go by there Lori and i drive that way every day <laughs> okay so i don't i don't know the location of the septic facilities. Uh, oh, did we want to question his, do we want to ask him how many employees, residents? Uh, well, you have it on here. Well, that would give you an idea of parking requirements for, for on-site personnel. Right. And then did he also? submit anything other than these? Is there a, a written uh, letter document that might have spelled that out? Because you have it on the list. Yeah, there, there is. Um, so he may have addressed that already in that. No, it is very, uh, very, very uh, likely written. Okay. So number of employees, two. Number of residents, four. There you go. So we want to ask that? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Where do you see that? It out. It's on here in the front, oh. in the middle. I guess I probably have not really familiar with the new one. Got a chance to look at this old very well. The middle of the front page. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so, yay, he addressed that. Okay, great. But, you know, oh, I see it. Two employees and four residents. Mm -hmm. Putting in a handicapped sign, too. Did you see that right here on the right side? Mm hmm. <laughs> So we don't don't need to ask him about the employees and residents. He's met that. Um, he felt striped wrong. So who are the two what? employees? Would that be Amar and, and Sam? But, well, you know, you know, and I know there's know. more than two employees here right. because he has two cooks. That's the answer. Two employees, but at one time are there? Oh, there so he's say. saying at one time, not yeah in total. Right. Okay. I, Okay, because I was going to say, he has a, at least a cook, a cashier, yes. a driver, Clearly. two drivers. Right, okay. but the driver's driving around, so he's not really there. I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with him just... Okay, I'm just, I just, being devil's advocate, just asking. That's very 
Very good point. We know we all know we have more than two employees. Okay. I just didn't want to pretend. I didn't want to pretend. That's all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let me let me ask a question if I could, please. Um, Lori, you were referring to the the grease pit or whatever. Is that what he refers to as a holding tank? Um, where are you seeing that? On the if you look at the Can side of, side of the stores by the stairs that go upstairs. Yep. It says holding tank. Is oh, that a, is that a it's in the middle of the building? Is that a grease thing? No, it's not in the building. It's outside. That's... No, the, the the verbiage is. Oh, in the, the verbiage building. is in yeah. the yeah. yeah. Oh, holding. T I don't. I've never heard of it referred to as a holding tank before. That yeah, would be what he's calling the septic. What's a tank? What's no. a hold? No, I don't think no. that's no, a tank. No, I don't. You saw septic. It wouldn't be holding tank. It'd be septic tank. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't see a septic tank. Yeah, I see a septic field, but I yeah, don't see a septic, septic that's, tank. That's okay. The septic field okay. is right with the tanks. You should away. ask where the septic tank is. Yeah, tanks. I don't know. I see the well. I don't see the septic field. Yeah, right. It does. You see the well? Oh, I don't see septic, the well. Thank you. It's in the landscape area where you took your picture that we were looking at. Under the car. But there's no well. Is it written on here as a well? Yes. I, I, oh, yeah, well. It's a tiny little circle by the 24 it. foot it's, by it's, 6. Oh, it's right there. I yeah, just yeah, looked yeah. at that. Yeah. Okay. So he but, spelled out both of those things. But that's not the septic tank. A well is for the water. Right. The tank has got to be near the uh, near the field. Does it It doesn't. No. And they're built, you know, to withstand. Yeah. So. There's nobody driving over that, so. But the lo location of septic facilities, I guess that would be both the septic field and the tank facilities. Yeah. But we don't know what. You could ask the question okay. if, if you that's. Okay. Do you want to ask the question? I'm okay knowing that the the yeah, field is right going to be by the tank. I, it's it's going to be right it there. Doesn't matter to me what the tank is. Anybody else have a, do you need to know where the tank is or is knowing that the septic field and the tank are probably together? He's not, he's not proposing to make any changes back there. So yeah, it, I think uh, unless, we, we don't Unless need to. you make a change. So right. I'm not sure that it, it matters. I don't think it matters. The, no, tank that, is, no. the tank is in that square. It doesn't change anything to what he's asking for us to do, and we're not requiring him to change anything in that area. So. So the shed, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, location of the, the trash and the screening, right. our question. The, the question yes. there we have is, you don't show the gate. No. You say there's going to be a gate, but it doesn't complete the closure of yeah. hiding the trash can. Yeah, I've got the question, where is okay. the gate? Um, or turn. Does it go across that X, you know? Yeah. Uh, the elevations of the electrical, he's shown us the mechanical shed. That's where all the electrical stuff is on the side. In my picture, you could see that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think he's met that. Information on the exact use of the storage sheds. He did say what they're being used for, so he, he met that requirement. I, I think well, the storing food containers yeah. in the same area Yes, I, and I, we can address that. Where, where do you see that, that he addresses? He, um, he has said that... You gotta go back. Sorry. 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 He says uh, uh, that this shed has okay. landscape material. Oh, oh, I know that, but what is this? He's, he says he's putting pizza boxes and bottles in there, and that's on this well, page. I thought he's... Uh, no, yeah. Pop, empty pop bottles and pizza boxes. So does that mean the whole thing, or 
You don't that's know. why I raised the question. Right. No. It's no longer segregated. It looks like he's removing two of the walls and together okay. to make one large area. So there right. is no barrier between anything Me that's too. going to be put in storage in there. Uh huh. So we need to ask. Uh, What what is? I guess can we ask what is and what will be stored there? Does it matter what it is? No, he's stored? told us. He's telling you, but you can question the location of the pizza boxes. Oh, so because the food containers. Okay, so right. the whole purpose for this new storage, hooked onto the old storage, is for empty pop bottles and pizza boxes only. Does, right. does that seem expensive to you? Does that seem strange I mean, that somebody would spend all this money adding onto their building just to, mm -hmm. when I haven't seen a lot of other improvements, just to put pizza boxes and pop bottles in it? It does, and there's probably going to be other things in there too. Okay, that's why, you know, I think is why the question is just being asked. I mean, yeah, I, the, the store next door built that whole shed on the east wall. Without, without a side plan. When the bottle wall came. When the bottle wall was enacted in 79. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they take, it, they take up a lot of space, especially right. if you yeah, don't do. purchase Crush. equipment to crush them. So it, it's not shocking that he would okay. like to have extra storage. Well, no, for the pop bottles, but not. But I, and I think you legitimately, you can ask if it's, you know, I don't think he wants the public to know that he's storing food containers that people are taking into their homes. Right. With with empty uh, site bottles. Well, he's got it on a public site plan, and that's well, uh, right that's there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe the planning commission should. Point we don't that know. Out, right? We don't know where those pot bottles have been before they've been returned to the right. place. Yeah. He but takes returnables. Yeah. They could have been outside in a barn for well, two weeks. That's ours. Well, yeah. yeah. I guess my only question, once again, just kind of being devil's advocate, is he's got these two sheds. One of them says old furniture, and the other one says landscaping equipment. I don't know how much landscaping equipment he needs or how much old furniture he has, but I would think that I would almost say, hey, you know what? I think I'll store my um, Hot old, my, uh, so old furniture. Um, what I'll just pay for a storage facility or store it somewhere else, and I put my pot bottles in the shed, and I wouldn't do the addition. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is, I, is it I our business? Spend all the money. Is it our business what he's using those pre existing storage? It is if it affects the public health, and that's why I. Well, to me, it, 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 then it that's does why matter. I think Lori is, and I am expressing concerns about what he plans to do. Although, okay. Lori, most stores aren't going to have a separate. They don't want the time and trouble to to store uh, returnable pop cans and stuff. It's it is money, right. so it has to be pretty secure. Um, okay. And I I think our real concern should be on the the health aspect of it. Right. Okay. And I think it's ludicrous to to put food containers with. With the, use yeah. pop bottles and cans. I mean, that, on the so how do how do we approach that though? I mean, what you just write down? Okay. No, 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 you don't no, have to. Well, I'm just saying. No uh, public. You have concern for public health. Storing food containers okay. in the same structure, same room would be better as recycled. You know, pop cans and bottles. Right. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, this I'll is write my notes work. different then. See, it, it matters kind of for my notes. Yeah. This list, yeah. What? This yes. List we all have. Boy, no, I I'm going Here. down it. No, but. Uh, well, 34, the last one on the, on the sheet. It talks about a shed to have electricity, lighting, fire, smoke protection, constructed design for prevention of burn and insects and pests. So that would cover the. Hole along the bottom of the wall, right. opening along the bottom of the wall. Right, but this is Mike's. Yeah, this is Mike's list. Right, it's not Sam's list. Yeah, this is our. This is us yeah. checking. These are yeah. our. These are our. Okay, yeah, that, it's that, what yeah, we want him to meet. Show that that shed would be uh, prevention. Well, the, the way he's trying it to, he said he's raising it up. Where did it? But see, we can only guess on that. Really? 
Is the reason it's raised up to prevent that, or is just raising it up because whatever? It's not. Well, he's really not going to really raise the shed that's already there. Well, no. Yeah. What what you just well, said. Can't build a rail wall around it. Yeah. You then know, that's not being addressed. As long as around the perimeter of the new area, that's not hard to do. Mm -hmm. Right. So it is simply a matter of building, of putting in the rat wall and then flashing the bottom of the sheds with usually with the aluminum or steel flashing so mm -hmm. that so that animals can't break through it or tear it off. And so would that be? Excuse me. Would that be spelled out on the site plan? Uh, rat wall, those exact works. I've never that's the term Okay, all right. That's the building inspector's verbiage. Yeah, okay. So, so do we have emergency exit identification? What does that, that mean, would, emergency? That would, be, that, that, would, that would be building code. So, we don't have anything to do with that. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, it probably is determined by the size of the shed and the building hall. If it only has one entrance and one exit, I don't he probably doesn't need an exit sign there. Yeah, I think it's a matter of distance. Mm -hmm. You know, how far from the what's the farthest distance you could be from the point of exit. So you haven't heard back from Tim? Or no. Billy Inspector? Tim, Tim made a note on his image. I, oh, this is I it, right here. Yeah. Okay. And basically, right. he said Sorry. there really aren't enough, there isn't enough information on those prints. It's not like a construction drawing. So he didn't say everything's fine. He said where his concerns lie, and when he gets a full, a complete drawing, that's more like when, he, when, his, when, when you give him his conditional approval, then Tim, else, then Tim will get a new set of plans for construction, and that's what he's going to go by, and that's what he's going to look at. Oh. He's going to look at, this you know, the rat walls, the construction, uh, whether it's the, the, the woods all in the right place, the right type of construction, mm -hmm. etc. So, but he doesn't care what it looks like. Tim, Tim's job is just to make sure it's built right. Correct. Planning commission is the one that has to place the condition. Of, of, of appearance, if right. that's a concern. Okay, so what Tim wrote about his recommendations for a two foot deep rat wall, and the elevations do not show this, then they still don't show it. Did uh, Sam, Sam did not get Tim's. Yeah, Tim, Tim was discussed with this, this Sam. But see, there's no data on this. Uh, that's because I copied it out of Tim's email. I didn't. Oh, okay. That, I'm just wondering. That was right around the same time as the fire chief's letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. As well. March 30th. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we've got our list. Okay. Do we think it's complete of the re re the questions we have? Well, in regard to the structural stuff you know um, this seems like probably a silly question but when an architect makes plans mm -hmm. like this do they physically go in the building to check to make sure that the building is structurally sound in order to continue to add on to the building I think that's inherent when they put their signature the state law requires an architect to do all the plans for a commercial structure. Excuse me, <laughs> I <remember> that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I, my assumption would be yes. Okay. This, I was just curious. And hopefully, he's a good architect. So, you know, we can comment on this plan. Have, have you heard of this architect before? Well, we, we, we have a list of questions. But I, I guess I'd like to add something before we decide that these are all the questions. Since we just got this new site plan today at the meeting, I think that we it would it would be prudent that each of us go you know over it again in 
the question in our site plan review that's in our ordinance MT. You know, compare them, make sure all the questions are indeed answered. Only because we just got this today. I agree. I need more time to digest yeah. this. Just because I know there's I so much information that was discussed today, and I know a lot of there were some side conversations, and a lot of it. I feel like I need to digest. I realize that it's just a small expansion, but it, you know, when we take into consideration that we're looking at not just, you know, some decisions were made in the past that I think that now, it was over perspective, and, and now we, need perhaps more. we wish that someone had been, I, I, I hate to say that even, been more thoughtful about it, but I don't know a better way to put it, so I apologize for being sometimes, crass. Sometimes people add, add things on, and the residents don't see it. They just don't pay attention. And sometimes it's done, you know, at a time that's not during the day. And I'm, you no, know, but since things, there were, to me, there's like three different things on here that should have had a site plan review and been inspected to me. Um, and since it wasn't, then we want to be. Uh, right, because we're proving something. Detail oriented with us. Oh, it's almost like approving something without having all of the answers, which just yeah. leaves a blank check to do what you what you well, want. I, more specifics would be better. Well, here's yeah. here's a question. We're talking about this rat wall and whether or not it, you know, he's doing it or whatever. There's two things on the page two where he says a 12 by 12 inch uh, CONC footing. It says it's three feet six Concrete. inches deep. Is it is that just on the corners? Is, or is it, he is already drawing his rat wall right here. How about this pillar? Right. It doesn't really say that. It's it a, says it's a footing. And it a says footing. wall section. No, it says it's a 12 by 12. Oh, okay, 12 by 12. So it's insta, okay. Right, and it's 42 inches deep, which a, a concrete footing, because of the frost laws in Michigan, right. because of the heating, yeah, it has to be a go. minimum of 42 inches. Corner. So we're just looking at, you know those, you know those paper uh, yeah, chips? Yeah, it's spelled out here on them too. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's hard to put everything together. It's hard to see everything on these site plans because we just got them. And you, you can't see everything and well, answer every question. What do they have. call it when you have skirting around the outside? What, do you, what are you calling that? Flashing. Flashing? Mm -hmm. So he has no provisions for that. It was going to be open air underneath, six inches off the ground. Would that be... You, know, you, need the, you need the rat wall and flashing if there is an elevation because normally a rat wall only starts at ground level and assume yeah. the structure is uh -huh. not on the ground. No if flashing. It's elevated, then you need to right. have a flashing or some type of uh, other material. So if, you're, if your shed is above like that, um, stuff will live under there. Oh, absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Raccoons. In Leonard, you better believe that. Uh, yeah. Scum. Okay. Yeah. So that's, I mean, I hate to see a uh, vital business in the village be hassled by our planning commission, but we want it to be safe, you know. Yeah, and uh, as I we're not earlier, you, know, it's you, just, you, you can certainly, you know, there's a whole lot more that could be required, and that we're not. We're not. Apparently we're not. We're trying to. Um, so, um, that's part of the give and take in the community, is you figure out where the priorities are and what's important, how far you want to push something. Right. When it comes to public health, pedal to the metal. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we should be asking the hard questions and trying to get answers. Right. Um, but as far as aesthetics, I think it's reasonable not to require a brick facade in the circumstances. Mm -hmm. but, it's okay, but it's okay to require it all be of the same material and right. be of uniform color. I think that's a reasonable request. Um, when we're talking about requests, reasonable or not, and, you know, just. I, I don't want to be that person, but I just, I, it's something that's just churning in my head, so I just have to say it. Um, and that is that, you know, my only other concern is with the septic is that, you know, 
there's so many problems here because of the kind of humic soil we have and because of septic. I, I, if I understand you right, this precedes me, but Addison Foods was closed down. Now, they didn't even produce food, but they had a problem just with their, with their septic. Is this correct? Where they were shut down because of the septic? No, well, they weren't shut down. They, they were not able to make food, which made them less competitive with okay. uh, other stores. Mm -hmm. but, you are, but they have no field back there. All they have is a the tank. tank. So it has to be empty. And the, the tank had to be empty mm -hmm. periodically, which is expensive. And I think right. it's such a marginal business mm -hmm. okay. that, it just, that the owners just didn't want to do okay. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you know, my, just my concern is I, I see how busy it is there. It is a, it's a really busy place. When I talked to um, the guy from Oakland County, who's the well and septic guy, he did mention that 10 years ago, when he looked at the property, that he felt like that it was too small. And he was surprised that he was doing any the kind of expansion. The septic was yes. too small. And he was surprised that he was doing any kind of expansion. And um, because it's just a storage shed, um, he felt you know, after looking after second consideration that it wasn't going to be a big deal. And when I talked to MDAR, they said the same thing. But you know, I, I've, I've been in this business, in that business of, of restaurants for forever, you know, since I was probably 16 years old. And um, when one thing is moved from an area to another, it opens up another area for food production or for something else, you know, so the potential of expanding the business is is actually there. It's in in my concern is um, no one could tell me the last time that anybody's done one of those tests, and I don't know what they're called when you test just to make sure that everything with the septic is good. You mean like a dye test? Yeah, like a dye test. I guess. I you guess know what? Um, I can I can check <laughs> because the county did do some dye testing back in two thousand and eight, which is when the, the septic problems came to a head. Okay. The E. coli pumps were, were elevated. Okay. Um, so I will do that. I, I'd love to explore that, that just to say, you know, a lot has happened in 10 years right. since he, when he looked at it before. Obviously, you know, with, with four residents living upstairs and an area that's a store that probably has been busier and busier, um, you know, if it would increase food production in some way that it could cause more stress on the septic. I know that we've got so many problems here. I just wonder what some answers would be on that, just well, in case it would tax things more because I'd hate for us all to be like polluted. I, I think under one of the things that we haven't discussed, but the Planning Commission could also place a condition on the approval that the space is not to be occupied, that it's not to be used for food preparation, or storage of uh, flammable materials, mm -hmm. etc. I mean, that's a reasonable restriction. Right. That doesn't prohibit him from shifting things around within the store as it exists now. Correct. But it, it addresses with more room, you know, does he start moving things in there? Um, that's exactly what happened next door. Right. What, what, turned, what started out as a bottle storage was remodeled later into more store area or floor area for the store. And, and, and that's my point is not even so much that that he could utilize that area, you know, for food prep or whatever. It's that the area that the bottles and pizza boxes and other things are currently being stored in would be opened up for something else, which would increase food production. You know what I'm saying? Well, and we wouldn't even know that until after this was all approved and everything. Correct. Was and so it. that's just, you know, I'm just curious. You know, and so I guess the, the verbiage would be that the new structure can only be used for storage of non-combustible, you know, flammable, non-flammable non uh, materials, and and no food storage or packaging uh, would be permitted. Would be on a condition. condition. Does anybody have any questions at all about the, the, the septic or concerns about the septic as far as Well, I always have concerns about septic on a commercial right. property. The problem, the problem we have, though, is, is that it's controlled by 
the health department. Okay. They're the ones that have the final say. And honestly, out here, they, they're well aware of septic situations. So until there's a, a failure and the need to do a replacement field, um, they just let things roll merrily along. Um, that's just the same. And that was my concern, was do you want to wait for a failure? Yeah. Or would it be something that somebody would look into? Because they did mention that, that you know that was something they could explore. And I thought, well, gosh, it's failing right now. I think somebody around here would know it. And as far as that goes. Be preemptive. Like exactly. So that's just that's just my question. Exactly. Well, I, and I look at that as being proactive because we don't want it to fail no. any more than the owner wants it to fail. Right. But, but um, technically, as long as they, you know, we've made the health department aware of it. Their their attitude is is the expansion isn't for more living area. It's not for more business. So it doesn't really affect the volume of use of the system, so it's fine as it is. That's that's basically it. What, what did you say that the health department? The health it? department. Has already checked them? And they go with, with the, uh, they, they've oh. talked to Lori, I've talked to, uh, not Mike Pilar. It's actually MDARD, it's Michelle. Michelle with okay. MDARD. She's but, the uh, inspector what, what, for a, this building what here. What are those? Um, Michigan Department represent. of Agriculture and Rural Park. What is that? I Michigan that. Department of Agricultural Agriculture and Rural, and rural, rural Development. Never heard or something like that. Yeah. So oh, it's so basically the, the it's like the um, the country version of the health department. So the health department does restaurants. MDAR does party stores or um, like dairy facilities, okay. um, things like that, you know. But is Mr. Shimon, is, a, is the store owner aware of, aware, I mean, has there been tests over there that he's um, participated in? I, I'm not getting Okay, it. okay. He, um, he is required on his honor every quarter to test his well, to test his water. Okay. And he takes that sample and he sends it into Oakland County. Um, only every five years or so um, will actually an inspector come in and actually test the water from the, the spigots. Um, it's a pretty serious concern because if there is something wrong with the water, water is considered a main ingredient in all of the food. Um, you know, pizza dough, um, water, everything has water in it. And so for that reason, um, that's a really important thing um, well, to have. Do you know that it's been... Do we have um, documentation? We would have to, if, if the owner could provide it for us, not his testing, but that when the last time they've come in and done it, which supposedly is every five years, um, we, could, we could find out. Otherwise, the, they, uh, Mike Pyler told me we would have to FOIA it. So I feel like, you know, it would be great if I could just, you know, it seems silly. I would just let you see him. He has it just for Sam just to, to share it with us. I, I, if you would, in your minutes, just let me know to ask the village to contact the health That's department what I was going to and request, not even if we can't get results, but it would be nice to know when they tested it. When they tested it last. If we can get more than that, that would be great. Okay, the so village. That be Judy. Um, so that be Judy or the council? Well, Judy. Judy. Judy and I. Okay, have the village contact whom? The Oakland County Health Department okay. regarding. Okay, just a second. Regarding well tests. Okay. For Anything else? Or septic, I guess. Well, it's uh, because although he went out and just did a physical, he just basically went out and looked and said, "Are you putting it there?" Okay, no problem. But didn't do a do a didn't do a per se inspection. Okay. Okay, because he wasn't ordered to do one. He has to be ordered to do one and ordered to do one. <laughs> okay, so, so it's um, called regarding well tests and inspection. And I think there's actually a provision that if they're not going to do a site plan, um, like looking at it like we are right now, that we can make it a condition of him moving forward that a septic thing is done. Oh, we could. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what I was told by, well, I, I talked to a lot of people, but I was told by somebody just to, um, you know what I'm saying? I'll, yeah. I'll inquire, okay. when I inquire, I'll inquire. Okay. So we don't, what? You're you're, you're, you're ready to, no, it's asking to ask the village administration to contact the health department 
regarding well accepted tests. And inspection? And inspection. Okay. I, you know, I, I like to get it. Well, and, okay. So, are you, so can we make it, uh, we will we'll approve this uh, site plan or make, we recommend to approve the site plan on the condition that you, well, we don't know if he's got a land. How can you do that? If, if you okay. Say, if you follow up well, the said, yeah, I, I have. we have to confirm that. Okay. But, but for purposes tonight, we're not, we're basically okay. going to try and get some more answers. We're getting more answers. Uh, I don't think he'll have to redraw this so much, except, except just with an addendum the for the, um, the batting on the building, the T-111. Oh, wait, the, um, the, the door. The dimension so of what, the front. Just to, the flesh, to flesh this out a little bit more for the planning commission, um, you can be satisfied, as long as you understand amongst yourselves what exactly you want the end result to be. We, the, the site plan is accepted by a vote, but on the site plan itself, you will write, on that document, you will write or attach any conditions or requirements that you have. And then it is signed by the chairperson of the planning commission, the village administration, and it, then it becomes a, legal a legally binding document that has to be followed. Mm -hmm. And it's enforceable because of that. And that would happen after our questions are that, answered. That will happen after you've, our next, I would assume your next meeting, which um, Mr. Shamoon was not able to be here because he had a family vacation that had planned previously. So I'm sure he'll be at the next one. Well, at that Hopefully. point, knowing going forward, if we have uh, typed out our addendum and get, a, get the questions answered, they can be bullet point handwritten on here right. the the battens could be drawn on and then we could all sign one right. copy right. and then more copies okay, can so be made copies. so we'd have to write it three times okay the owner gets one the village gets one and i'm not sure but i think the building department gets the third okay so. but yes you're absolutely right it's it that's all except for the the rat wall well, no, even the rat wall. Could just he be. doesn't have to draw it in. Okay. But he, he, it has to be written as a condition. That, okay. And that has a, what I would suggest is, is just make it a condition of, of approval that the uh, all, all the proper permits for construction are full and that the requirements of the building official are met. And including, and you can say including rat wall and and flashing or whatever. Okay. And that's simply put, that's that's really it. It doesn't have to be you don't have to see it on the drawing if it's written clearly okay. enough on the on the document. Okay. And there's a big space for it right here. Yeah. <laughs> well um, I think we've killed this document. <laughs> Is there any other concerns and questions that anyone has on this? You can go home, review it, make notes. So we, to can, be take, we can take these, right? That way, if I had an opportunity yes. to. Yes. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, we could do them as emails back and forth to each other, copy all of us. Okay. Or we can keep them and just address them at the next meeting. Oh. If, if, if possible, if we could get the minutes um, done, then we can, I'll, I'll have them sent out for distributed to you and that way you'll have a checklist as well. So and we will and we will also communicate it to uh, the property. And then uh, based on the time <laughs> uh, the master plan will be addressed at the next meeting based on Rand's, yeah. Rand's uh, update and what we find out. And then I gotta just look back at the agenda. Does that address everything? Yep, I think we just have to make a motion to adjourn, right? Um, yes. Motion? Um, I'll oh, do, do any of us yeah, have any more questions or concerns? No? Okay. Uh, correct. Oh, wait, Lori, you? Lori first. Okay. And Paul second.
All in favor? Say All aye. 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 Anybody who's crazy enough to want to stay around? So the meeting closed at 9.04.